Hi guys, it's Dave from What's Blue New Care, and it's time to do another taste test in the Wilkinson series. And we're going to do a Wilco's Dark Velvet Stout. Um, never tried this one yet, but we're going to give it a go now, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll have gotten good results with this one. So Let's get the pour done. I've got my bottle ready. It's been chilled. And an empty glass. So let's get this filled. Let's go. Ooh. That's carbonated. So we'll give it a pour. Gently. and we'll reposition the camera so you can have a closer look all right guys so on with the wilco's dark velvet stout dark velvet stout definitely dark and another result with the uh the head lovely and creamy and I'm going to do the tor torch test. There you go, torch. And I'm going to get this a bit closer. That is very, very dark. Yep. That's about as dark as they get. Um, I don't know if you can see the. Uh, the bubbles uh, on this. Oh, uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and get the focus right. It's a bit uh, chill here. It's been chilled. I don't think we're gonna go right on there. However, take it from me. It's fizzy. So I'll uh, get this zoomed in a bit. There we go. So this is the Wilco's Dark Velvet Stout. With all the Wilco's kits I've done, if you check out the other the other two which I should have uploaded. Um I've been really impressed with the head. Uh, this is no exception. In fact it's probably better than the other two. Really um creamy I mean creamy um, very impressed uh, and that's just with a head that's just what it looks like uh, again all my bees are chilled because that's the way I like to drink them so this has got a bit chill here on the, gl on the glass however <coughs> give this a go now before I start this is um, one tin of Wilco's Dark Velvet Stout, 1.5 kilograms, not the 1.8 that you usually get. 12 grams of Willamette, ho Willamette hops. 500 grams of dark spray malt. And 700 grams of brown sugar. And this one had a starting gravity reading of. 1042 uh, but when it all finished out it still came up to the 4% mark so exactly as it said on the tin really so all of these have basically came out exactly what they said they would so I thought I would have got them a bit more but there you go with us adding 700 grams of uh, sugar instead of the normal 500 with 500 however we'll give it a, a sniff test
Now that's got absolutely no, nothing on the nose. Slight um, smell, but a bit like your average pub beer, really. You know, when you get a pub beer and you smell it, there's not much of that. That's what that is. However, might be the head. So we'll give it a swig. Ooh, that's got quite a bit of taste. Like a, how would you describe that? Mm. It's very, um, Slight smell of coffee. Taste of coffee, I meant. Dark. We're back. Alright, so, where was that? Dark. Coffee. Very malty. Um, much like you would expect. Um, a stout of B. Very strong um, stout being that. Nice head. Nice uh, lacing. And uh, nice taste. If you like your stouts, that's quite acceptable. I probably, um, if I was going to do this again, use two tins just to see what it come out like but I'm pretty impressed with that it's a one tin kit and it's only 1.5 grams uh, 1.5 kilograms sorry um, so I, I did have to bump it up I don't think it would be that good if you only did it with a sugar one kilogram of sugar probably be, be a bit of a letdown have left this in the bottle for two months so that's another thing that you need to take into consideration um, I've already tried uh, one of the um, Wilco's kits. Well, one of the Wilco's kits that I did after a few, after about four weeks, and I wasn't that impressed with it. But I've left them for another month, and actually, every single one of them I've been really impressed with. So maybe it's just one of those things where you just need to leave them the age and do their thing, and every single one of them is actually quite good. I'm impressed so yep nice one definitely do that one I would say it rivals the Thomas Cooper's Irish Stout and I thought that was really nice and considering this is only 10 quid 10 UK pounds for a kit and if you do the Wilco's deal you get the free bag of a kilogram of sugar the only thing you've really got to buy is some spare malt at about three quid 13 quid you've got yourself a really nice pint um, although I added the Willamette hops and the hops to all the Wil uh, the Wilco's I only used 12 grams so it was probably a bit of a waste of time probably wouldn't do that again in fact I know I'm not going to do that again so uh, yeah, Will goes um, dark velvet stout, very nice pint, very impressed. Impressed.com. See you in a bit.